Select kitchen items for living local provided by the Rachel Ray Show. Well, welcome back, guys. Joining us in our kitchen today is Chef Becky Williams, owner and chef at Benchmark American Brasserie in Texarkana. She's making our scallop dreams come true today with a great dish. We're so excited, Becky. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. It's been a while since we've had you, but she has got everyone in the studio of Raven because it smells so crazy good. Tell us what you're making for us today. Um, we're working on scallops today. I'm going to kind of demonstrate a good way to sear a sea scallop for you. Okay. Um, and this goes with one of our most popular dishes at the restaurant called the Scallop Provincial, mm -hmm. which is just with a really quick linguine that we saute up with some spinach, garlic, red pepper, um, herbe de Provence, and then we serve it with a scallop and verblanc. blanc. Okay. But the hardest part of that dish, obviously, is the scallop. So that's what we're going to work on today. We're working with some big, beautiful sea scallops, as you can see here. If you're working with bay scallops that are a little bit smaller, you're going to do it the same way. You're just going to cook it a little bit less. But we've seasoned them with however you want to do it. We're just using salt and pepper. We're going into our nonstick pan, mm -hmm. a little bit of oil. We're Ooh. just going to go right down. We're going to tilt that pan a little bit, let that oil kind of move around. And we're really not going to work with them and move them a whole lot. We okay. want to get a nice, good coloring on the bottom, and that's going to start helping with not just a good beautiful presentation on the scallop but a good nice flavor to that scallop. You don't want to cook them too long. With most seafood you want a good sear mm -hmm. and then just kind of let it be or it'll get real rubbery and chewy. Yes. Which is the same thing that we have with scallops. Um, at the restaurant, like I said, we serve this with a pasta but you can do this any way you want to. We've done them so many different ways. We've done a uh, cockle Saint-Jacques which is like a brandy cream sauce. We have one right now that we've got smoked salmon, Yum. a chimichurri, more of a Latin effect. So you can really kind of do anything you want with it. Yes. Um, but what we're working on here is just getting a really good color and a really good sear. Okay. Like I said, nonstick pans the way to go, obviously. But if you don't have one, you want to temper your pan. So you want it to be nice and hot when the scallop goes into the mm -hmm. pan. Or it's going to take a little bit longer, it's going to stick, it's going to overcook, right. you're going to have a real rubbery sensation. And there's no need to move it around a whole lot. I no, you kind of just left it alone there. Yeah, you're just kind of watching it, you're adjusting your heat a little bit. Um, it's a little easier when you work with the flame, but if you have an induction, you're going to have a solid bottom, so yep. it'll work out pretty good. We're really looking for some browning, as you can see, kind of around the edge, uh -huh. and we don't want to flip them a whole lot. So now that we've got a little bit of browning on that, we're going to go ahead and flip the scallop. Good. That was about a minute and a half or so for the sea scallop. Yep. We're going to flip it and give it about the same amount of time and then finish off the dish. Yep. Um, like I said, if you're working with the little ba the little scallops, the base scallops, you want to do the same thing. You want your, to have your scallop, we had it on a plate, kind of dried mm -hmm. out, seasoned, high heat, just less cook time And when on it that. comes to seasoning, um, I know that you were saying you can kind of um, put, put this and complement it with everything, even if it's not linguine, you can do anything else with it. Um, is it kind of the same thing with seasoning? Can you get a little creative with that? Absolutely. Um, we just do salt and pepper on this dish because we want to really showcase that scallop. Mm -hmm. But on many others, and one that we currently have right now, we have a lot of Hispanic flavors going on, chili powders. Um, we do a lot with turmeric. Um, and you can, once you're at this phase, you can do what's called enrobing, mm -hmm. where you throw a little more butter in there and you can throw garlic and herbs and all this and let them just kind of wrap all Yum. around the scallop. We are going to do what we do at the restaurant. So now that we're at this phase where the oil's kind of drying up in the pan and we have a good color, we're going to take dry vermouth and we're going to deglaze the pan a little bit. We're just going to pour that on there. We're going to let that cook all those little bits, brown bits up off the pan and we're just going to Move it around. Toss it around. <laughs> and it is literally that simple and the scallops are done. I was going to say, I think when I when I was thinking of scallops and you coming here today, I was a little intimidated. I was like, this is this might be a little tough, but this was so easy to do. Mm -hmm. Anyone at home can certainly do it. And you've got that nice brown color. Your scallop is still nice and firm, mm -hmm. but the best way to do it is firm and jiggly. I know that sounds kind of silly, but that is the best <laughs> way to tell if your scallop is done. Ooh. Just remove it from the heat and we are finished. It smells so, so, so good. So we have the finished product over here that we want to showcase. And tell us what we're, we're going to be drizzling over it, Becky. What I have there is a traditional um, Bourbon Blanc, which is a French wine butter sauce. Mm -hmm. um, it's heavy cream, um, wine, some aromatics cooked down and then finished with um, unsalted butter. And then we just drizzle that right over each scallop. I leave the pasta a little bit naked. Okay. In itself, it's got a lot of great flavors. Like I said, we have herb de Provence, we use spinach, red pepper flake, garlic, and then one of the showstoppers is manchego, 
which is a really wonderful Spanish cheese. Ooh. It just really sets the dish off. I, my, my mouth that is wondering. Simple. That close up of the dish, that is a beautiful close up. But Becky, thank you so much for being with us today. Guys, if you have not visited Benchmark in Texture Canada, make sure that you do so. Their menu is incredible. Something really exciting that Chef does is that she brings in new dishes, new flavors. Right now, she's doing kind of like a Latin theme. So if you want to try something new and delicious, make sure that you visit Benchmark.